everyone. How are you doing Thursday? For those that are in Florida, um, I hope that you are safe and you are um, not anywhere where Milton hit. Um, and our prayers continue to go out for the state of Florida. With that, let us jump in to our topic of the day. So um, all last several weeks, we've been talking about social media and I started a an attempt to show you guys how to bulk upload your content. So if you are using our new custom GPT that I created for travel advisors and especially those travel advisors using Travel Pro Suite, I want to demonstrate to you how you can actually take that content that you get from AI, download it in a fashion that will allow you to upload multiple pieces of content in one swoop. So I'm going to actually jump right in before I get started. For those who are watching me live, let me know where you are watching from. And have you already started testing out our social flow GPT? I'm going to put that here right in comments so that you can see. If you have it, you do need chat GPT for, uh, to utilize this flow or this uh, uh, AI custom feature that I've created for you all. Simple for you to create an account with chat GPT. All you need to do is just create an account. I use my Gmail account to do that. Um, when you click on the link, I'm going to show you exactly. I think this is just going to go straight into my um, item. Let's see if I can um, log out and then click to kind of give you exactly what you will see. All right. So let me do that and let me share my screen. And then I'm going to actually give you guys a full on demo. Let me share the correct screen. All right. Oh. I am pretending to, um, I'm not going to pretend, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to click on the link. And what happens when you click on the link is that you get this uh, login. And so that's what you're going to want to do is you're going to sign up for uh, ChatGPT or if you already have a login, just log into ChatGPT. So I am not going to sign up because I already have an account. So I'm just going to continue with my account and log in using my account. And once you log in, so if you need to create an account, my recommendation is just go ahead and create yourself a ChatGPT account. It's going to take you to this custom GPT that I've created. Again, it's called OTB stands for online travel boss, social flow. I designed this to allow you all to throw away all the prompts that I've been giving you on how to create social media. Those prompts are already embedded into this GPT. So you don't have to cut and paste the prompts. You can actually just go straight here and utilize the tool to get what you want. And so the objective of this tool is to help you create social media content that's one going to connect to your ideal client and based on what your goals are. So what you're going to see as we continue to customize this for you all's needs is you'll see some prompt questions that you can just jump right in and get started on. There should be one that says, what can I help you with? I'll add that back um, after this training. but. I'm just going to type that so you can see what this GPT can help you with. What can you help me with? And then it will tell you all that it can do. And so it's intended, again, to help you with social media, post creation, 30-day content calendars, hashtag keyword search, strategy and audience targeting, and so much more. So. Again, we are going to try and do the world in this GPT. You're going to see that I'm really going to keep this particular GPT for social media content for the purposes of getting those ideas, getting that content so that you can create and release. That is really what our objective is, is creating and releasing. And we hope that you're utilizing our tool to help you with the release fashion. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go straight here with number two. I'm going to go here and say number two. And it's going to ask me for some input information, right? So start date, theme or focus. 
target audience, posting frequency, your content type. So this is what do you prefer to create? Are you doing video? Are you doing images? What are you doing? Which platform are you on? Call the actions that you want to have and any hashtags or keywords that you want to create for. So once you provide all that information, it's then going to create your content. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say, let's say we're going to start on the 14th, which is this Monday. And here, um, let's say I don't have uh, the theme or focus is, let's say we're going to do, I want to do engagement. Um, engagement. You know what? I'm going to say I don't have a theme. I don't have a theme. And if you don't have a theme, you can ask for it. Can you help? Um, I'm going to skip target audience because I want to show you what it should do um, here. And I'm going to say I'm going to do three times a week. Here, I want to focus on images, uh, images just for the sake of this. And then I'm going to say I'm going to go on, let's say we're going to do Instagram. And then um, calls to action, uh, recommend me some CTAs. I don't know what I want to do there. And then um, hashtag, let's just do, since we are in the middle of our challenge, let's do video visibility just uh, to keep it fun. All right, so here I am. Uh, now I've put in my inputs. And that's all that you need to do is you need to identify what you want to current this 30 day calendar around. And um, I asked, I didn't have a theme. I didn't ask, I had a theme and I wanted some help. So it's asking, it's going to give me some recommendations on what I can do. Do you want educational content, engagement prompts, user generated content? What do you want? And these are some suggested calls to action. And then it's asking for, and we're going to clean this up. I just kind of did some updates just now. So I'm going to make sure that it asks you for you to approve this before you proceed. But what it's doing now is giving you one week. It should have asked for a recommendation um, or a, approval. This can appeal to creators here. So my business name is Sugar Travel. I was doing some changes right before this training. And um, so we've got some a little bit more additions that we need to do. So here, what it's doing, it's giving, I gave it some additional contacts at my uh, travel business name. And then it gave me some different categories here. So I like that. Again, what I want to do is just make sure that you guys like what you're seeing. If you like what you're seeing, then what you'll do is you'll proceed. It's going to give you a week at a time. And then if you like it, it'll proceed to the second week, third week, fourth week. Once it does that, once you go through this and you're okay with it, let's say I don't like, I, I like, it's giving me three different, four different types of post categories, which is great. Suggested call to actions. Maybe I don't want those call to actions. I want you to think about this as a conversation with your knowledgeable best friend again. So don't just take what you see, actually interact with the tool. That's the beautiful of, that's the beauty um, of AI is, is that it's a conversation and that conversation can be a pretty powerful one if you actually tell it what you want, right? So I'm going to just take a minute. I'm doing training and sometimes I go really quick and I don't read what the responses are, but I encourage you to do that, right? So I gave it my name. I told it my target audience and I'm going to make sure that when I go through the edits today that we are going to prompt you if you don't provide that, what the name of the business is and what your target audience is. Because again, you should always be creating content that's intended to connect with your audience. So we don't just want generic, random content. We want content that's really on point to who we want to work with. So here, this is saying uh, this because I said couples uh, traveling together and um, using content tips, destinations to spark interest. So this is saying some categories that I can create image posts around would be travel inspiration, video creation tips, 
um, encourage couples to document their trips and provide tips on how they can do that, engagement prompts, um, and couples travel stories. Okay, so if you like that, then there's no modification. But if you, um, I need to give her, that's right, Priscilla, thanks for joining. Thanks, Jack, for joining. Um, and I feel like Mature Diva, I know your name, but it's it's missing me. I just see the name of your YouTube channel. So been enjoying your videos this week. So super job is showing up every day in the video visibility um, challenge, but I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Um, I know if I go in the group, I'll see your name, but anyway, thanks for joining. Um, I do, I need to give her a name. I do need to give, because I'm actually creating multiple GPTs for you all. This one, social media flow. We have another one that um, I'll talk more about. Uh, Rhonda, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, thank you for that. Thanks for joining us live. All right, so let's get back to this. So you see the different categories it's giving you for recommendations based on your ideal client, based on what you ask for. Now, if you don't go and start from the beginning, of the flow the flow like if you want to start from the beginning the first step is okay do you want to do a theme and if you want to do a theme it'll give you theme recommendations and based on those theme recommendations then start to build up the content but if you just jump in and do a um 30-day calendar it'll do this for you so here let's say i don't want to do all of these i just want to do travel inspiration and engagement so I only, I only, I only want to do one and three for post categories and my CTA, I want, give me uh, CTAs, CTA accordingly, accordingly. All right. And so now what it'll do is it will change the categories based on your direction you know anytime now <laughs> i don't know if my uh hopefully my internet i always like i'm fearful that my internet or you know so we are at the mercy of ChatGPT. it does sometimes go down so i'm just going to sometimes if this ever does this to you and it sort of hangs up I'll just edit it and then I will resend it. I'll actually stop it from thinking and I'll resend it again. So it'll come back. I, I don't know. Sometimes it just has a hiccup. And so now it's come back and it's giving me, got it. So it's just telling me, okay, I'm only going to focus on these categories based on your direction. And then it's going to give me some tailored call to actions um, based on the, that direction. So, this is what I love about, so when I tell you guys how much I love ChatGPT and conversational AI is I literally get to have a brainstorming session with somebody who has got a plethora of information and can give me some really valid and on point recommendations based on who it is and what it is that I'm doing. So based on this, it's giving me call to actions for each of the type of category that I've selected and then it's now going to give me content. Now, I always say ChatGPT is as good as the input and it's also as good as its information that it has. So when you're using a conversational AI, um, I would say right now in terms of going out and using facts or information that's available, ChatGPT is good. It's not the best when it comes to doing research, there's a new AI tool that I just got wind of. It's called Perplexity. So if you're trying to do research, Perplexity AI is going to be the place I would point you that way. However, creating content that's sort of accumulating opinion and creating context, ChatGPT is a really great conversational tool to do that. So now it's created a week's worth of content for me based on, now it's giving me an example, right? So it's asking you to review the sample and based on the sample that you see, if you like it, then it will proceed. So what I don't want it to do is I don't want it to spit out a whole bunch of information and you're like, this is trash. And then you've got all this stuff that really isn't value. So it's going to week over week prompt you to review the week information and then you can do that. All right. So 
This is a simple slide. So read the read the instructions or read the output because it's asking for your approval and input. If you're happy with the post, I'll move to preparing next week's content in the same style and format. Let me know if you have any further adjustments. So if you do have some adjustments, maybe it's too short, maybe it's not long enough, maybe it's not the right tone, whatever that is. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to say I'd like the tone to be tone to be humorous. I don't really like Chat GPT's humor um, not related to travel because <laughs> it does some like really funny like humor that tries to connect travel to it. And I don't really like it, but you know, maybe you may like it. The other thing I love about GPT is like if there is a comedian you like or a person you like in terms of their sarcasm, like we can actually ask it to emulate that as well. So it's just me or does life, you know, so look at this version dreaming of a, a romantic getaway. Here's your favorite beach escape. So this is the 14th output versus this one where it's a lot more casual um, or does life feel the, the favorite person by your side on our plane, right? And so this is a little bit better, right? And it's a lot, it's a little bit lighter. So again, if you don't know what your tone is, um, <laughs> actually, I actually found a prompt. I'm in, I'm a, I'm in a bunch of different prompting um groups and maybe if you are loving this you are too and so one of the prompts that um i found i haven't tested it is like if you want chat gpt or the gpts to talk like you is to uh take a, a what is it a myers brig uh test and then feed the input into chat gpt and then it'll start to talk to you i have yet to test that i will let you guys know when i test that and give you the layman's version of how to actually do it because the, the instructions that the guy gave were really complicated so i just hadn't had the time to do that but i am anxious to make sure that it actually talks just like sunday does um so you know again the output becomes so much easier so here you go. So now this one is a lighter one. And now it is, uh, it, you know, I think that the content sounds pretty good. Uh, you know, the perfect travel couple when you can argue about where to get at, where to eat, get lost and somehow have the time of your life. These are really great uh, sort of engagement items. So let's say you want to change the date to, you know, this is, I think, uh, two days. So I want, want daily posts um give me a give me week one all right and so i changed up the instructions and i said okay don't just give me two days give me a full week's worth of posts that are humorous lighthearted, and now it's going to spit out the 14th through the 20th and it's going to give me those posts and again i said i want instagram so that's what it's going to do is give me the instagram um, I think I said Instagram. I don't remember what I said. What did I say up here? That's too busy talking. I don't know what I said. Um, I said the gram. That's right. Three times a week. So now I changed it from three times a week to five days a week or seven days. I don't know if it's going to do seven days. Yeah, it's going to do seven days because I said a full week. And here. So this is really great. So now you've got your content for the week. If you like it, you're good. You just download and I'm going to show you how you can download it. If you're using Travel Pro Suite or you're using Social Pro, which is a subset of Travel Pro Suite, what I've built now into Social Flow is for you to now get the output in the format that you can do the bulk uploads. So let's hope this works. It worked when I did the test earlier. So I'm just going to say, I, you know, it'll actually go through and give me a full 30 days, but I'm going to say just stop for right now and just give me um, a week only so that I can demo the uh, download. So I just want a week's worth of content. Again, you know, I, I say create and release and get it all done as much as, of it as you can um, done at one time, particularly if you've got a theme for the month, get it all done and get it all loaded, right? But this is going to require you to go get some images that uh, relate to this. So here, what I would want to do is I would at least want to go and get this on my spreadsheet, right? So I have all of this. And then I would go, now that I have all the quotes, then I would go and create all the images. I do everything in batch. 
thinking about words is different than designing images. So I don't try and mix the two because then I get sidetracked. Um, so I try not to do the two of those. So uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so this should be the same content as above, which is great. And I just want to make sure that it downloads and I'm going to um, let it do this last thing because I don't want to interrupt its train of thought. I'm going to have to make this have a code word so it knows to follow the the uh, the download format that I've instructed it to do. So I'm still playing with that, but let's see if it does what it does, it's supposed to do. So while it's waiting to do that, it does take a little bit of time for ChatGPT to export it into a CSV file. Um, so you can actually do that in ChatGPT. You can have it download things into Google documents or Word documents in an Excel file. Let's see if it did what it was supposed to do. So it did. Lovely. Huh? I love when things work. All right. So let me just upload this into, um, cause I don't have Excel. So for those of you who do have Excel, you won't have a problem with uploading like I do. So I do have to, uh, move it from, um, the CSV Excel format. So I just need to move it into my Google Drive. So I think a couple of days ago is when we were here last. Did it upload? Let's, uh, let me try that again. Uh, new file upload and upload this into my Google Drive. Uh, where did it go? What's the time? 1221. I think it's called sugar. Let's, oh, I think I got this thing. All right, recent. Let's go to recent. All right, so we're going to open up this in um, Google Sheets. And now that we've got this file, this is exactly the format that this needs to be in in order to upload this into Social Pro. You don't need to do any formatting. I'm just gonna form, I'm just gonna format this just so you guys can see it. Um, but literally now you've got it in the format that you want. Now I would not go straight into Travel Pro Suite um, because you still need the images. So, but now you have at least the document in the way that you need it. Um, could you tell chat? Uh, so somebody asked, could you tell ChatGPT to provide you? Let me share this um, question, which is a really good question. So thanks for asking it, Jack. I think that's Jack. Um, so the question is, is could you could you tell ChatGPT to provide you with the images or where to get the images to go with the feed? All right, this is a good uh, a good question. I'm going to answer that question in just a second. What I wanted to do is demonstrate to you now that you've got the format that you need the CSV file to upload into Travel Pro Suite. So for those of you who don't have Travel Pro Suite, you may want to get it because it's a great scheduling tool to help you release your content. So I'm going to take this and then Jack, I'm going to come back to your question. I'm going to leave your question up because I'm going to come back to your question because um, ChatGPT can create the images. However, you still need to download the images and you, there's still a lot of little things that you've got to do. I prefer doing images in Canva. Image work is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's artistic, right? And so it just depends on where you want the images, but I'm going to show you actually what ChatGPT can do using Dolly to create the images. So before we go there, let's actually finish the train of thought. Okay. Now we've got the CSV file. Let's go to Travel Pro Suite and upload that into, 
into our social planner. And so let me show you exactly how you do that. So we've got the file, we've saved it over to our location. We're gonna go to marketing. And if you just have a social pro, that means you just have access to the social scheduler. And so what you would do is you go to marketing and this is for everybody, you go to marketing and it's gonna automatically take you to the social scheduler. We're gonna to go to new post and then we're going to upload from CSV. Now, what I've trained the, the GPT is already has it in the format that it needs, the headings and all of that. So we should be able to just take this document. We just downloaded it. We can use this document and click open. And then that says that they are not the same. <laughs> so let's see, what did I do incorrectly? So I may need to fix this download just a bit to make sure that it is the same. So yes, so these are still off. So I will get that fixed so that the document does it in the same format um, there because the headers are just off. So let me just save that and we will fix that. So let's do this again. All right, let's upload that upload this here and let me not use my I don't think that the version that I'm using so hold on let me just save this really quick and let me make a copy new so I know where it is and let's just save this to my downloads so I will fix that for you guys um, so that the actual headers are exactly the same so that when you download that, so I'll do that after this here, I'll make a copy of that and then we're going to upload. All right, so let's go there. Let's go to download. Oh, I mean, I'm saved it. It's the right thing. I love when you do something and you're like, wait a minute, it's not doing what you want it to do. I think I need to save it as a Download as a CSV. There we go. Come separated. All right. Now it's a CSV. Let's do this one more time. There we go. Now, all right. So now all is right with the world. And so now um, here we're going to click on next. So again, I'll fix that um, download so that it's uh, got the right headers. We're going to select the, um, and I don't have my Instagram uh, account connected, it looks like. Let's uh, see if I can reconnect that really quick. So this is going to also happen in your account, the token, and that's just the authority that's given to Facebook, Instagram. They don't, it's not indefinite. So you will um, occasionally, it's usually I think every 30 days, depending on the platform, get asked to refresh the authorization and that's all this means you should get an email when it's time for you to reconnect so i'm going to reconnect my um, facebook page and then i'm this is in my demo account so i don't think that i've got instagram selected but that's okay so we're going to go here and then i'm going to go ahead and do that upload again All right, so I'm uploading that, and then I'm going to select Facebook. I know I said Instagram when I did the social, but I don't have it connected. You, if you have a, if you have an, a VA doing this, and your VA, she can actually, she or he can actually send for approval so that it doesn't automatically get scheduled. But you can do that as well. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click create. And then what happens is the CSV will be here for you to review. So now when you actually look at uh, review and schedule, all of the posts are now here and available for you to do. You literally could use our GPT to help you create content, but you could just also create content, put it in the file, in, in a CSV file or Google Sheet or Excel, save it at a bulk upload. So you don't always have to use AI, but if you are wanting to do multiple posts at one time, 
using the bulk feature is the way to go. Um, and so you can see this here. If you actually click on it, like you click this little, these arrows out, this will actually show you what it looks like. Now, again, I wouldn't do this straight like this because there's no image, right? You'd want an image or a video or what have you. And that's what this, this column, these columns are doing. Remember what I mentioned yesterday or Tuesday, Wednesday or whatever I came on last time is the link is, is if you include any links, let's say you have download now and there is a link that you want, you put the link here. If it's an image, this will be the URL for the image so that when our tool is pulling in the image, it knows where to go. If you want a GIF image, you can put a URL for a GIF. If you want a video URL, same thing. When you're using the bulk uploader, you do not have values in D, E, and F. It's one or the other. You can have a link URL and one of the values in D, E, or F. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So now once you're in the tool, you can then schedule each one of them, right? Schedule and post each one of them or here you can just... Uh, I was seeing if there was a bulk way you could just set all of them. I think you can actually set all of them in draft. So here. Oh, you can import the post. Sorry. I was like, there is a way to do that. You can import the post. So just, I would say read, right? All the posts will be added to your social calendar. This action can't be that. So my recommendation as a part of your process is you can bulk upload them as long as you're okay with everything. Then you want to put, you can then import the post and the importing of the post is going to actually add it to your calendar. I'm going to do this because it's only seven posts and I'm going to go and delete it so it doesn't go out. Um, here. So this is now completed. And now in your planner, what you'll be able to do is you'll see them in your planner. They're all set to draft. You could have set them to complete in the CSV section, but now these are all in your planner and now they're ready to go for you to go ahead and uh, schedule. You can schedule them um, here. And again, this is exactly what you can add your first comment. It'll be really great. I'm sure this is a feature that's going to be coming is that we, if we could add the follow comments in our, in the bulk upload, but right now you can't get to do it at a per post level, but here, this is where you would actually just go ahead and publish it so that it's a done deal. You can schedule it, uh, save it for later. You can hit this little drop down and then schedule it, uh, schedule the post, send for approval schedule a recurring post. So this is really, I love the ability to do things in bulk. If you're, let's say you have a tip theme, right? Like maybe I know a lot of travel advisors have tip Tuesday. They have, you know, um, motivation Monday or something like that. You could do all of your tips and then you could, you know, you could have chat GPT say like, I want all my tips for the next three months and schedule all of you, you know, get the tips that you want to do have them get scheduled, get the images, and you be done with it. All right, so that is how you bulk upload. We'll fix that header on our ChatGPT so it'll download with the header correctly. And then to answer Jack's question, which is a really good question, is thank you, thanks. Can you generate uh, corresponding images? for each of the tips. So let's see what it does. Now, Dolly, um, Dolly is good. It's an okay image generator um, here. Um, however, it's not the best. Now, you know, there are other AI um, image generators, one of them being, um, Mid Journey, which is probably the top, I think everybody's top of the line um, face. What 
what AI does not do well is render text <laughs> uh, well. These are not realistic, right? I'm African American, as you guys can see. I would want images that were on point. So I don't know that I necessarily love Dolly's image creator, but one of the things that you can do is ask it for prompts um, for your um, images to, so let's say you're using another AI, an image, an, an, an AI that's really designed for creating images, you can ask for it to create you prompts, descriptive prompts. Prompting, just like for content, the words that you use are so important when generating images. Listen, I am your expert on the content. There are so many people out there who really are more artistic than me. I understand what my limitations are. However, what I would say is if you really do want to start playing with AI generated images, there is a whole sort of language that you need to learn. So let's say I don't really like these images. So let's say, can you provide me, provide me detail prompts to for each post to use in mid journey. And then what this will do is it'll give you the prompts that you could then feed into a tool like mid journey. All right, and so now you see what the prompts are. I would then take those prompts into Midjourney. This would be a whole nother demo for me to do that. And again, I, I know Midjourney. I just gotta play with Midjourney as I have with the content. And so there's a lot that you can do just like you can on the conversational part, on the image creation part, um, you know, actually telling Midjourney the, the output, like what platform is the image for, the ratio, making it realistic, you know, if you want uh, people uh, that are realistic to you, right? Like I want a black woman that's doing this or a black couple, you can tell it to do that. So um, <laughs> Priscilla, you're like, you have to argue with uh, Dolly for realistic African. Yeah, like it, I, I just, again, I, I played a little bit with Mid Journey and Mid Journey the arguing is not as much. Um, and again, I, I just, I've not spent the time. Um, I just found an AI group for travel advisors just for the images. So I'm going to, you know, see if I can get in there. Maybe I can invite her uh, to come and speak to our community. Uh, a, so mid journey would be AI generated images. Absolutely. It's now it's, ChatGPT's interface is a lot more user friendly than Midjourney. It, it, Midjourney is using, uh, um, I think it's Discord, um, their platform to go in. But I will do a demo. I can do a demo of Midjourney, but I by far have not spent nearly as much time um, in the image creation uh, part of AI as I have on the content side. So I am probably not the very best person to do this, but I will absolutely demo that for you guys in the future. I'm hoping to be able to get some of the people that I know who that's really what they love is this sort of um, image creation. But here at least are the prompts that you can use to do um, to create here. And then you could modify the prompt. I want you to think about prompt writing to be, or, and, and really content or images, be as descriptive as you can in terms of what it is that you're looking for. So this is at least giving you some ideas as what you can do. Um, but I can show you, yeah, Canva's AI is okay as well. Um, and I am running out of time, so I won't have time to do that. So maybe I'll just do a whole sort of, you know, green person's AI and images. I'm not the expert when it comes to the images, certainly on the content. So what you now have for you with inside of Social Flow is you have the content, the words, the themes that are connected to your idea, and then you can ask it for prompt images, and then you can then create your images Canva is my choice right now. I'm going to be, uh, I use Canva, but I also have a graphic designer and she's the one that makes me look uh, wonderful on, on the image side. So what, again, your CSV has for you is the space for the date and the time that you're going to prompt, that you're going to release it, the actual content, then it's going to be the link URL that you're going to have. So if you have a call to action, that's going to send somebody maybe to a download or a sales page 
you'll want to include that in this column and then your URLs for any images or videos that you are doing. Once you have all of that, then it's ready for upload and then you can take it into um, Travel Pro Suite. Now, the reality is, is you can take it into Travel Pro Suite. It's already in Travel Pro Suite. You can leave it in draft. And as you create the images, the GIFs and the videos, you can then upload them right here as well. Bulk action, if you haven't already done, you can um, use the CSV file to upload. If you don't have it and you just have all the words and then you're going to go off, maybe you fiber all the images out. Maybe you're like, here are all my tips. Go get me some images, which I think is great. If you're not an artistic person, go get somebody who's who lives and breathes this thing to get you, you know, 30 images for your content that you've got. They can go spit that out, give you 30 images, and then you've got all of those images to upload and then get URLs and you're good to go. So with that, that is your bulk upload training for the day. Listen, if you guys have any questions and you'd like to join me inside of office hours to take this a little bit further, absolutely. If you also like to get our Travel Pro Suite um, tool uh, or just our social pro tool, we at least through video visibility, we are giving a 60 day trial of our social pro feature inside of um, our video visibility challenge. And so if you would like to join us in the challenge and get access to that 60 day, um, 60 day trial of social pro, all you have to do is go to online travel boss.com forward slash social pro trial. And I'm going to put that right here in our chat and you can sign up for our challenge. I think our challenge is still only $1 and then that will get you access to social pro and the features that we just demoed today. Listen, I enjoyed uh, talking to you guys today. I will see you next Monday. Stay safe, stay dry. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. If you're not a travel pro suite member, simply go to online travel boss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.